You got the loot, baby face? Right here in this valley, Spike. A hundred thousand delicious dollars. Little did Boris know that he had taken Bullwinkle's valise by mistake and that he... Hey, you! What are you whispering about it? Uh, uh, nothing. Well, stop it! Uh, yes, sir. And what will Boris do when he finds that the suitcase he holds contains four pairs of socks and a couple of peanut butter sandwiches? You're whispering again. Speak up or uh, uh, be with us next time for Bucks for Boris or the Green Paper Caper. <laughs> That's better. Meanwhile, Babyface Braunschweiger had reached his hideout and was preparing to divide the loot. He didn't know that he had Bullwinkle's suitcase containing three pairs of socks and a peanut butter sandwich. Come on, Babyface, quit stalling. Yeah, come across what I share before we get annoyed. Tot, tot, fellows. Do I look like Double Crosser? Yes. yes. Just asking. <laughs> well, we'll just open... Ooh... What's the matter? On second thought, why don't we wait till later to the wide end? How much later? How about next Groundhog Day? If I see my shadow, we open suitcase. And if you don't? Well, there's other Groundhog Days. Baby face, it sounds like you're welching on our deal. You know what we do to welchers? Let's get him, guys. Things really looked bad for Boris until he said, Gentlemen, if I'm welching on you, may lightning strike me this minute. But amazing though it may seem, when the air cleared, the only man left unharmed was Boris Badenov himself. Not so amazing, Gluck. Good heavens, a lightning rod. Certainly. With my reputation, I can't afford to take chances. Of course, it didn't take Boris long to figure out what had happened. Hmm. If I got peanut butter sandwich, moose must have money. Somebody who wished no good for our friends. Somebody who... Stop with the somebody who already. Give the name. Very well. Boris Badenov. <laughs> Ta-da! Had also heard the sound and whipped out a small but invaluable anthology, The Pocketbook of Fiendish Plan. Oh, boy. <laughs> you call? Hokey Smoke, who are you? Allow me to introduce myself, Yankee. On a child, Moose Moose. Pride from the Everglades. Honey child, Moose Moose. Yep, just arrived from below the Moose and Dixon line. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Honey Child. And so Rocky's gallantry and good manners take him close to Fearful Jeopardy. Is that Fearful J Jeopardy? Don't miss our next episode when Moose meets Moose or Two's a Crowd. <laughs> You call? Hokey Smoke, who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. Honey Child Moose Moose from way below the Moose and Dixon line. Gee, welcome to Minnesota, Miss Moose Moose. Rocky behaved like a little gentleman, but Honey Child didn't act like a lady at all. Fortunately, she was stopped by a strange sound. <whistles> well, how did you do do? Bullwinkle, it's you. Did you find the bank robbers and the money? How about introducing me to your bank robbers? Now I remember. Yes, it seemed that Bullwinkle's period of amnesia was over. Did I find the money? Boy, have I got a surprise for you, Rock. And Bullwinkle grabbed the straw valise and flung it open. Well? Well, aren't you surprised at what's in there? Three pairs of socks and a peanut butter sandwich. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Honey Child Moose Moss, alias Babyface Braunschweiger. Alias Boris Bedenoff. Had traded suitcases with Bullwinkle and now had possession of the valise full of money. And now it's bye-bye, Boris. But as the disguised villain started off... Hey, what's your hurry, little missy? Well, I gotta go way down upon the Swanee River. To see the old folks at home, huh? Hey, Bullwinkle, that valise looks just like yours. How about that? Small world, isn't it, mister? Her name's... Honey Child Moose Moss. Of the Florida Moose Mosses. I just knew you were from the South on account of your Southern fried accent. Um, no offense, Miss Moose Moss, but could we see inside your suitcase? Sir, no Southern gentleman ever peeking inside lady's pocketbook. That's a pocketbook? Large economy size. Gee, maybe I didn't have the money after all, Rock. Yeah. Maybe I dreamed it. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a stupid lame brain. Yeah. Couldn't you hesitate a little on that one? Well, I really must be going, yo. Yeah. I think I hear my dear old mammy calling Caroline. But your name's Honey Child. That's my maiden name. Well, so long, Yankees. Grab that suitcase, Bullwinkle. And as Boris sped away, Bullwinkle seized the valise. Good work. Yeah. Open it up. Right. What's in it? Three pairs of socks and a peanut butter sandwich. It's a wig. 
She wasn't a real blonde. She wasn't a real moose. She wasn't even a real she. Well, will Boris make it to the train station and escape unscathed? On what? Uh, we'll find out next time in the Midnight Choo Choo or This Gum for Hire. You sarah!